Welcome to Support Center Plus Video Tutorial. This video tutorial will show you how to integrate GRI with SCP. Once the SCP product is installed, open the installation folder. Click Support Center, Action Plugins, Jira, Lib folder. Copy the Jira implementation jar file and paste it under Support Center, Server, Default, Lib folder. Now click Support Center. Action Plugins, Jira, Con folder, to find the GRI-related XML files. Copy the Jira XML file and paste it under Server, Default, Con folder. The Jira menu XML file holds the menu options that will be shown up in the SCP request. Copy the contents of the Jira menu XML file and paste it in the Request Action menu XML file, which is available under Server, Default, Con folder. By default, we support issue creation in Jira, and update Jira information on SCP request. If you would like to change the display text of the menu, change it here. Save the request action menu XML file. Now let's configure the Jira.xml. Open the Jira.xml file. For creating a Jira ticket, you need to specify the URL, username and password of the Jira instance under Jira integration menu. Configure the mandatory fields, without which the issue cannot be created in Jira. Specify the project key, and issue type, under which you would like to create issues in Jira. You can check the Jira instance to obtain these details. The same project key and the issue type specified in Jira instance, should be specified in the XML. Let's map the Jira field with Support Center Plus field. I am mapping the summary field of Jira with a subject field of Support Center Plus and prefix it with dollar symbol. In the same manner, you can map some more fields of Jira with Support Center Plus fields. By default, we support priority, description, labels, environment, and due date fields. Also you can map custom fields of Jira with SCP fields if needed. While mapping the fields, the field type should be mentioned in the type parameter. By default, we support these field types of Jira. Next, you can configure the success and failure messages. These will be shown up in the SCP interface when the actions menu is invoked. On sending the request to Jira, the Jira in turn will send the response in JSON format like this. These responses can be updated in Support Center plus additional fields or added as a note. You need to configure the additional fields in Support Center Plus, under Admin Module, Request Additional Fields, and map the same fields with JSON response. The JSON values should be prefixed with dollar symbol. The Jira XML is configured. Click Save to save the file. Restart SCP application. Now, log into the application. Open any request to view the details page. You will see the Actions menu icon with options to invoke issue creation in Jira. Click the option from the Actions menu. A success message appears stating that the issue is created in Jira. And the response from Jira will be updated in the SCP additional fields. Let's now see how to update Jira information on SCP request. Open the Jira.xml file. Specify the URL, username, and Password of the Jira instance, under Jira Update Status menu. You need to specify the same additional field name, where you have the Jira issue ID, and the URL prefixed with dollar symbol. Next you can configure the success and failure messages. Now let's map the SCP fields to Jira fields. The SCP additional fields should be specified in the name parameter, and Jira fields in the value parameter. The Jira fields should be specified in the same hierarchy available in the JSON response. The JSON response can be viewed by invoking the URL updated in the SCP additional field. Upon invoking the URL on the browser, the JSON response can be viewed with the help of any JSON parser. The hierarchy of Jira fields is displayed here. For example, if you would like to update the status field of Jira in SCP, then you need to specify the values as fields, status, name and the value parameter separated with comma, 
and each prefixed with dollar symbol. In the same way you can map the other fields of Jira with SCP additional fields. Save the Jira.xml. Now click the Update option from the Actions menu. A success message appears stating that the Jira results fetched successfully. And the corresponding fields of SCP will be updated with the values of Jira issue. The Jira Action Implementation Java file is available in this location. If you would like to modify the actual implementation class, modify it in this file as per your requirement. Compile it and update the Jira implementation jar file in this directory, then restart the server. Well, we have reached the end of this video tutorial. Thanks for watching.